All right, there's a good team. All right, let's go. I can fight. Make me angry. Just like that. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what is up, new superstars? Here we are back another video of Fire Emblem Engage, and there will be not really much, but there is few things I do want to say in this game because now we have no more DLCs coming out, probably no more major updates. Probably still waiting for that new Game Plus update though, but who knows? Maybe it will come, maybe it will not. But it does not matter. We might have to wait for a half a year or maybe one to two years for another Fire Emblem game. And for that, people are definitely gonna drop this game and say like, the game is done. There's no more, no more updates, no more DLCs, because everything is now completed for this game. But for those people that just plays the game, but haven't you just wasted like $60 on this game? If you're living in the US, it's probably like almost $80 in Canada. And um, you're just willing to spend that much money on a game and not play it ever ever again wow really <laughs> for me i will still personally play this game because as much as i can say i am officially now a fire emblem fan as much i got into like xenoblade also but this is just only into um fire emblem engage right now hold on let me just change something real quick so in Fire Emblem Engage, there's still a lot of things to do in this game. So if you're not the type of person that will complete to the fullest, you're going to be missing out. For me, I always try to aim for the fullest in every single game I have played. I don't know if you guys realize, but my very first game I played for my YouTube channel was Triangle Strategy. And I did end up finishing the game later on. And I did it with the other games I've played and I finished it. To the end i may not shown it in my videos but i do complete my game to the fullest 100 percent probably the only one i will not probably do to the fullest is probably breath of the wild master mode because my goal is to just finish um uh, just to beat ganon and then that's it that was pretty much it that was pretty much my aim and my goal just like my boy saw me <laughs> just be done with it <laughs> so if we look at the bulletin board Look at achievements. I have no achievements because uh, I don't know if I completed them all. No, I did not complete them all. There's still a lot of um, support conversation I need to do and um, donations. I only finished one because it costs so much money. 50,000 gold, bro. I only got 78,000, bro. Dang, it's so... I mean, it's not that hard to grind. You just need to play like a few 
rounds here and there just make sure you're aiming for gold every time you're trying to attack in the skirmishes just get gold or there's usually a, a good one called training and they give you a lot of gold in that one so yeah and then the others of course is the support and the way you can do support is by by going into your room and doing your rest going to a cafe and eating with your members and then the ring chamber can also also improve your support arena also and uh, plaza i'm not sure in plaza pool side there is like an, an event that you can do like if you go run there quickly you can still do like these uh what do you call it recreation where you can let your team just talk with each other and just increase i'm still trying to do a lot of those and of course there's the fishing over here what's up diamond and then of course there is the one uh trials is where you can go online versus other people or or you know have fun over there because what i understand about a lot of these games is people just play to the beginning to the end that's just basically just doing the main story people do not really try to push themselves to finish the game i feel like it's such a waste that you're not gonna push yourself to finish the game because there's a lot you can do in this game all right there's a lot you can do but a lot of people just chose to do just finish the ending and that's it instead of just getting the full 100 percent because you spend a lot of money in this game okay these games ain't cheap all right 50 dollars 60 dollars especially in canada they can go over 80 dollars and now that tears of the kingdom is coming and it'll be 10 dollars more than what you average big game you can play usually breath of the wild was just 60 dollars it was 59.99 now tears of the kingdom is going to be 69 69.99 did not meant to say it weird and just like that fire emblem is still a very good game and still a game where you can just keep on playing till you probably max out to all the support and made your whole team like your your all your allies to a whole nother level like to these to the point where you guys cannot even level them up anymore and you found to the point where like these guys are just way overpowered and getting all those bonds and support and getting those crazy items or weapons to maxed out so there's still a lot to do in this game and yeah and i'm hoping to make that happen too so i can just go to uh was it outrun trial and just beat everyone up that's what i'm aiming for and then i'll maybe i'll do a weekly just going there out of nowhere doing like three th maybe two to three battles on out realm trial and just beating everyone's team with my op team so yeah anyways hope you enjoyed today's video make sure that subscribe button and you guys know how it is louis 10434 is out mm -hmm.